As these new numbers do roll in, the clock is ticking to the holidays, so that means, of course, crowded shopping malls, busy airports, plenty of opportunities to find yourself in a vulnerable place to catch this virus. Today, health leaders with Mecklenburg County are begging people, please do not put yourself in that situation. Our Ashley Daly heard the warnings from county officials today who say taking the chance to see your family could cost you or your loved one their life. She joins us now with more. Today, Mecklenburg County's public health director says she's hoping the county avoids seeing what it saw after Thanksgiving, and that's a spike in both cases and hospitalizations. And today, she said the single best way to do that is to simply stay home. She may not wear a big red suit, but Mecklenburg County's health director, Gibby Harris, is keeping a list, and she's checking it twice. So what is not safe over the holidays? Travel, gatherings, and extensive shopping. To keep this holiday merry and bright, Harris is encouraging everyone to stay home and to only celebrate with those you live with. Unfortunately, our numbers are continuing to surge. But despite her pleas and climbing cases, many have found themselves on the naughty list. Restaurants, bars, gatherings. All you have to do is go to social media and see what's happening out there. In addition to a surge in cases, Harris says Mecklenburg County is seeing a surge in testing. That is incredibly concerning to me because I think it could indicate risky behavior over the next several weeks. This is Charlotte Douglas reports up to 15,000 local passengers every day now through December 27th. And as a new strain of the virus thought to be 70% more contagious circulates. This strain has been around since September in the United Kingdom. So we know that there has potentially been spread from the United Kingdom. We could potentially have this the strain in the United States at this point in time. Preventative measures Harris says your family can take now to make sure when it's their turn in line for the vaccine, they'll be alive to receive it. And today, Harris also said the state is rolling out a new testing notification system, which she says will notify someone who's tested positive via email or text. She says that new system could be up and running by the end of this week. Reporting in Charlotte, Asha Daly, WCNC Charlotte.